so first thing you want to do is you need to get crack steam because um, yeah you need steam to use this mod I believe that's the only way I know how to use it anyway um, and obviously you need Half-Life 1 um, so of course you would need to buy Half-Life 1 on Steam legitly or you could use this cracked version of Steam which allows you to download Half-Life 1 and a few um, variety of other games for free so to get this download just I'll, I'll provide a link in the description uh, here no sorry hang on oh, for God's sake oh, I'll provide it. you'll see the link in the description um, yeah, once you've got the uh, hit the link in the description and downloaded this, uh, you go for, run through the setup, of, uh, and then you'll be left with this. Once you've got the crack steam, just open it up. Um, once you've opened crack steam, it will look like the normal steam, um, and you're just going to want to log in with your normal steam account that you'd use. If you don't have one, just go ahead and create a new one. Um, yeah, it only take two minutes, free and stuff. But yeah, just log in with your normal Steam. Don't worry, it's not going to hack you or nothing. It's it's fine. <clears throat> so you just log in. Right, once you get on, as you see, it will look like any ordinary Steam. But if you go to Library, and you'll see all games, there's a ton of games here. Um, m most of these games you can download for free. Well, majority of the games you can download for free, Half Life being one of them. So, what you're going to do is go to all Library, All Games, and you're going to want to find Half Life 1. So, just H, uh, there's Half Life. You're gonna find Half Life, install it. Uh, it will take about five to ten minutes to install. Once you've got it installed, as you can see, I've got it here. What you're gonna do is um, restart Steam. So you're just gonna exit Steam. Um, I'm gonna have to do this as well because yeah, I've not got past this part yet. So yeah, exit Steam and then just open it back up again. Sign back in again. Okay, and as you see, it should still be there. Installed. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. Then exit again. Right. Um, now you're going to want to get the CryoFear set up. This can be found at this website here. Link in the description again. Just going to hit download now. Uh, hit this little link here. CryoFear set up. Download now. and then it will download as you can see hang on show you okay it will download it's 1.6 gigabytes big uh, so it will take a while I've already got it so I'm just going to cancel that not waste any of this my precious time <laughs> but yeah um, so once you downloaded that uh, have that on your desktop or somewhere and all you're going to do is you're going to run the setup now this here sometimes it will take like, like a couple of minutes to load it will just seem like it's freezing and it's not going to open uh, it will open so don't be like you know thinking it's not working or whatever just give it a minute or two um, I'm going to pause the video until it actually like opens right okay um, that took a couple of minutes but um, yeah um, after you've waited a bit for it to open if you're using Windows 7 or uh, Windows Vista I think you'll get this uh, just wanna make sure you um, do you wanna run it and stuff yes <sighs> then wait another like 30 seconds one minute for this to load okay so it's almost done now okay welcome to cryofear 1.0 setup wizard okay so just go through this next it should automatically choose this folder it's in program files crack steam steam apps uh, your username for your account and under in half-life and then once you get this just go and install this is going to take about five minutes I think I'm not sure but um, I'm going to pause it come back when it's almost done <coughs> right, okay so more is done now 
that took about pff, 10 minutes I think but once you've just come through that setup finish right what you want to do after that is you'll get this on your desktop or where or somewhere maybe you don't, wherever you had that I think it will go I'm not sure um, but yeah find this um, just launch it launch cry here it says so yeah just double click it okay you get this frame don't worry about the resolution and stuff all you want to do is check for updates okay just hit okay for that and then there should be a new version a new version mode down on now hit okay you'll get this box just give it like I don't know how long it'll take a couple of minutes maybe to update right, okay so we're coming to the end now bar's finished okay there we go so um, download complete okay um, this, this patch requires the launch app to cl um, close please restart the app once okay so hit okay then close this then you should get a pop up here hit yes and basically you're just going to installize um, the newer version 1.2 so next install it so it should say it should say um, program files crack steam steam apps your uh, steam username half-life and then it should say cry fear install and then just hit finish uh, now once you've done that now we're going to get into kind of sort of I guess you could call it technical and more complicated stages so you're going to have to pay um, more attention to this bit what you're going to do is you're going to open up cr the crack steam again and sign in Right, okay, now this time once you go open Steam, uh, sorry, this time once Steam opens, you go library and it should have Cryofear there. If not, try closing um, Steam and open it again. And if it still ain't there, then I guess you, I know you've installed it to the wrong place or something. So just um, go back, delete everything from your computer, and try again. But yeah, it should be there. And what you're going to do is right click and go to properties. So remember, it's here, cry fear, right click on it, properties. Then you're going to go to set launch options. Now, here you get this little box. Now, what you're going to do is in the description, I will have this pasted. But this here, it says um, it's num num underscore edix space uh, 2047. Now, you can just copy this and, um, from the description of this, the video below and just paste it in there or just copy it out right out but yeah make sure it's exactly the same as that so best bets is to just copy and paste it and then just hit OK and then close it once you've done that you then need to uh, you can just minimize that for now um, you're going to want to go to start computer local disk program files um, find cracked uh, steam here, crack Steam. Going to Steam Apps, your Steam name, Half Life, Cry Fear, and you want to find a file which is called, where is it? Hang on. Okay, it's called um, Auto EXE C here. Um, you're most likely going to have to open it with something, so open with, select open with, and you want to find Notepad. So okay, and what you're going to do is where it says here at the bottom svlan zero, change that zero to one. Then just hit file, save. When you hit save, cross it off. Make sure it's the same. So open it again. Svlan one. Okay. So once you've changed it to that, um, what we're going to have to do now is um, we need to make a a batch file which is um, yeah, I'm not going to go into explain what it is but basically to make one you're going to right click on the desktop or go to start accessories notepad or whatever and you're going to want to make a new text document 
so you get to your notepad basically and in your notepad you're going to want to type uh, this here which will also be in the description so just copy and paste it from the um, yeah description of this video so make sure it's exactly that start hl dot exe steam game cry fear no magics blah, blah, blah. so copy that and paste it into this notepad that you've just created then hit file save as make sure you pay attention here and just call it cry of fear dot b a t cry of fear dot bat then save it to your desktop and hit save now once you close your notepad I'll just close both of them. Um, on your desktop, you should get something that looks something like this, or if you're using like a later version of Windows, like Windows XP or something, it'll probably be like a little black box. Um, but yeah, yeah, it won't look like a text document like that. Just delete that. Now, what you want to do with this is you want to go back to Start, Computer, Local Disk, your Program Files, Crack Steam, Steam Apps, uh, your username. Half Life, and now in this bit section here. Hold on, sorry, give me a minute. I'm just checking something. Yeah, in this bit here, I'm not, this doesn't look right to me. Hmm, I don't know. But it should. You should just have to drag this in here. I'm not sure if this is right. I'm sure there's meant to be more files than this. Um, just do what you've done. I don't know. I've, well, we'll see. And what you're going to do is this here we just created on the desktop. Drag it into there. Not into the Cry of Fear, just into the Half Life section. So as you can see your username, Half Life. Drag it in there. Um, then what you want, you can do if you want is right click, create a shortcut, and just drag that shortcut to your desktop. Um, yep. Yeah, and then so make sure it's in there cross that off. Now what you want to do is you want to restart Steam. So just uh, Steam, exit. And then you want to open it back up. Make sure you open your crack Steam here. And open your Steam before you double click this, which we do in a minute. So yeah, we open our crack Steam again. It's important to restart once you've um, created this file here um, otherwise it may crash and stuff when you're playing it and that's also the reason why we're having to create this batch file uh, to prevent it from crashing and actually allowing it to work right so once you've restarted that we can just double click this file and it should oh, I knew it was going to do this okay um, for some reason my half-life is not I don't know, installed properly but that should be right um, I'm not sure why the mine's fucked up here. But yeah, to do that, um, it should work fine. I'm not sure what's going on with mine. I've done it like loads of times before and it's worked, so but yeah, just do that, um, run it and then yeah, it should play fine. It should just open up the game, work good. But you just have to remember, every time you want to play Cry of Fear, you have to run this file here. So yeah, thanks for watching and um if this helped, please like. Uh, sorry the ending you know I can't show it to you it should work though um, before I upload this video I'm going to try again go for it again make sure it does work I'm not just going to upload it if I know it don't work <clears throat> but so yeah just do that um, even though it didn't work for me I promise that I'm going to try again and only upload it if it will work um, so yeah, um, if this helps you, like, um, subscribe. I do modding videos and videos to do with mods and stuff. Um, might make some more Cry Fear videos and stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.